Kelly and I met socially, and um, we uh, knew each other for a little while. And gradually, uh, Kelly kept sort of having these conversations. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, you kept having, you were asking these questions to me about writing. I actually, the, honestly, I've never told you this before. I actually thought he was going to ask me to write the block party Christmas <laughs> annual or something. Christmas <laughs> annual. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, like, could you write our rock biography of, of the band? And then he said uh, that he had this idea for a story. He was really interested in talking about two gay men who uh, have to get married, even though one of them wasn't sure. And we did that with this idea that, because of Brexit, the bank that one of them works for moves out of, of Britain, and he's American, so he's either going to have to go with them or he's going to have to go home. So they get married in order for him to be able to get leave to remain. The more we do it, the more I realise what it's really about is two men who've not been together long enough to know each other that well. And what they realise when their families come together is, oh, well, you're not quite who I thought you were. <laughs> you know, and them having to see a bigger picture of each other. And and learn to accommodate that and then fall in love with that, really. In this time of um, division that we're experiencing right now, I think this story of people from different backgrounds coming together and um, families coming together is, is, is incredibly important and it's a story that I'm proud to be telling. To me, it feels like a portrait of, of, of a game of a relationship that I would see maybe in my, you know, my friends' lives, in, in, in my personal life, but it's not really something that I'm noticing that we're seeing much, um, you know, that we're seeing represented so much um, on stage or in drama. It, it wasn't really until maybe a year into us developing this idea that we thought, well, why not bring kind of music into the uh, into the mix? As a songwriter, it's always been expressing what I want to express. If I'm honest, it was quite liberating um, having that sense of. You know, it's not about me or my persona, it's, it's about telling a story. It was something that I found very enjoyable. We're not adverse, I guess, to the, to the term musical in any way, shape mm -hmm. or form, but it, it really feels like uh, the language is quite abstracted, you know, and uh, we never go for that sort of full number feel in the conventional way. Um, and it's not really within my movement vocabulary to do so, so I'm pretty pleased about that. But it feels like a very, a very contemporary take on what that sort of musical feel would be.